All blessings come from God through men to men. This is a powerful spiritual information. Please pay attention. This truth will help you to excel and serve the purposes of the kingdom and to live a very victorious Christian life while living out your destiny. Welcome to Epignosis channel where we bring to you different news, messages from God's servants with our own commentaries. Listen and be blessed. So when God graciously participates in your life, your success, your destiny, and now coordinates men to also support the course of your life and your destiny, we say you are favored. And I told you favor is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15. Here's the scripture that the Lord gave me to deliver me from that understanding that favor is unmerited. Please read with me if you're a child of God. Ready? One to read. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. One more time. Uh-huh. Now, please keep that scripture there. I understand this scripture to be in... Um, it's, it's like two women who are both pregnant. The name of the first woman is called good understanding. And this woman is pregnant. When she gives birth to a child, the name of the child that comes from her is called favor. Are we together? On this other side, there is another woman who is also pregnant. Her name is transgression. She gives birth to a child. The name of that child is hardship. So both favor and hardship are children that come from mothers. One mother is called good understanding. One other mother is called transgression. You know what transgression is? Violation of patterns. So this mother called good understanding can give birth to a child and we call the child favor. This other mother called transgression can give birth to a child. Hardship has an explanation. It's not just a sociological phenomena. It's not the absence of privilege and advantage. Hardship. Now, it's a very uncomfortable truth because when you talk like this, many people get offended, especially those who may, may, may seem to be going through all kinds of problems, whether financially and all of that. But you must be open-hearted. Let God be. That's the way of the transgressor is hard. This is very, very powerful. Many believers have refused to embrace this grace called favor and they have been limited as far as their divine assignment is concerned. And I'm praying that God himself will help us to really, really understand how favor works. Write this down. Favor truly is the number one reason why people succeed in the kingdom. The favor of God is the number one reason why people succeed in the kingdom. When Jesus came and walked in the flesh, Luke chapter 2 and verse 52, Jesus himself, can you imagine this? Jesus, the word of God, the logos of God, had to contend for favor to excel in his assignment. And Jesus increased, the Bible says, in wisdom, Jesus increased in stature, and Jesus, the word of God, needed favor to fulfill his divine destiny. He increased in favor with God and man. Now, this automatically tells you there are two levels of favor. There is favor with God and there is favor with men. You can have favor with God and not have favor with men. If you have favor with men, with God, you will have encounters, angelic encounters. You can even go to heaven and come back, but you will suffer in this life for sure because the earth has he given to the sons of men. Many people have favor with God, access to illumination, understanding of scripture. But as far as excelling in life and destiny is concerned, they do not understand the dynamics of living in this earth and in this realm. You need favor both with God and man. We see the use of the favor with men when Jesus needed a donkey for his triumphant entry. It was because of this grace called favor upon him. He says, go and lose that colt. And if any man asks you, tell him the master had need of it. Brothers and sisters, if Jesus did not have this grace called favor, he would have been surprised what the owner of that donkey would do. Are we together? Yes, sir. Favor. Every testimony of victory and success in the kingdom is connected to favor. Every testimony of victory 
and success in this kingdom is connected to favor please write that down it's very very important every testimony of victory and success in this kingdom is connected to favor please write this down in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters these are very powerful kingdom points that you must note that in this kingdom who hates you truly does not matter but who likes you matters a king hates one woman called Vashti and she loses her throne immediately the king falls in love with a woman called Hadassah Esther and from a young village girl she rises almost immediately to become queen the king loves a man even though that man was against the purposes of God called Haman he hated God and hated the Jews but simply because the king loved him he remained in the palace and he had dominion the day the king hated him even if he repented he would still go out of the palace he will serve the God of the Bible outside the palace are we together now a woman called Ruth meets a great and a noble man called Boaz and he loves her and in a moment her life is changed for 430 years this cruel beast of a king called Pharaoh all kinds of Pharaohs came and left oppressing God's people and suddenly God placed this grace upon the nation of Israel and the same Pharaoh who oppressed them the Bible says he gave them so much gifts they were in a hurry to go out they did not even allow their cake to the door to rise who likes you in this kingdom matters write this down all blessings come from God through men to men this is a powerful spiritual information please pay attention these truths will help you to excel and serve the purposes of the kingdom and to live a very victorious Christian life while living out your destiny understand this all blessings come from God but they come through men to men when God says yes and the helpers of your destiny say no the answer will remain in the realm of the spirit it will not manifest in this realm believe me if you say all I need in this life is God and you're saying that to mean my allegiance my love my passion and my commitment is to him you are right but if you say all I need in this life as far as the dynamics of success is concerned you are very wrong even God needed men you asked the angel what he was doing searching for women with wombs Jesus wants to come on earth he's trapped in heaven until a woman donates her womb look at how the angel came to explain it as mighty as he was the word remained in the realm of the spirit and the angel came and said Mary you are highly favored this is what will happen to you she said explain it to me do you know the same question Mary asked was the same question Zechariah asked they punished one and left another because Zechariah was not highly favored but Mary was highly favored two of them asked the same question when Zechariah was asking the angel explain to me the dynamics of my he said she shut his mouth and yet Mary said how shall these things be and the same Gabriel said let me tell you the power of the highest what kind of unfair thing is that but remember he started by saying you are highly favored so anything is with respect to that grace ask your questions because it's on you sit down sit down please pay attention don't be distracted if you are distracted it's an attack if you are distracted it's an attack God has something to say listen God has something to say listen listen pay attention for god has something to say so he said the power of the highest will come upon you she had to give the angel permission be it unto me according to your word and the word became flesh you will be learning in the course of this teaching that there are people on earth who are uncastable you can't cast them if god wants to help you he will make them favor you that's how you pass through that date listen <clears throat> believers may god have mercy on us and deliver us from ignorance there are many believers suffering today because the wisdom and the understanding that makes for living and excelling in the cosmos is largely absent 
And so we continue to pray in tongues, fall under the anointing and find out that we are failing woefully in life because the dynamics of understanding how to live within our sociological context is not there. This is why God brought the church as an advantage to society. Are we together? Yes, sir. This world you see is the world of men. And if you do not understand the dynamics of favor, you can be called of God, you can be anointed, having encounters in the secret place. But you will be surprised that you may never live out your destiny. Favor. Every result you see in this kingdom is tied to favor. Every. The man of God came from a very different angle from what so many men of God teach. So I believe that most of you may, you know, still be finding it difficult to understand what he's saying. So I urge you to stick around and listen till the end. But before we continue, let me just chip in one or two things. He said that favor is merited. And we, I believe that most of us believe that favor is unmerited because that's widely thought okay and everybody is still correct and he will still explain it very well but one thing i want you to look into is when we talk about having relationship with god we have what we call vertical relationship and having relationship with man that is horizontal relationship so now this kind of favor that is merited is not favor from god okay favor from god is unmerited but favor from man is merited actually everything from man is merited man does not operate from the realm of the spirit man operates in the realm of the man okay the, this realm that is human realm so that's how god is different but as christians we try to still enter into that spiritual realms because that's where everything we have is in so in that vertical relationship god showers us with his favor all the time we are the ones that are not assessing his favor remember that grace is favor that is unlavished from god to us right so we don't merit grace it comes to us the same way favor is favor is something that comes to us from god but from a man remember that the bible says that jesus grew in knowledge and status in in favor of from man and from god right so we need favor from man as we need from god so that's what apostle is actually explaining and favor from man is our attitude that makes it work okay so that is what he's teaching so it's not like he's saying that favor you know totally is merited no he's talking about that no matter how god blesses a man the man still needs that blessing to be manifested in the physical and for it to manifest in the physical he uses men so if you don't have a right attitude to attract those men that god will use you will now be you know pushing away your favor that's what he's talking about i hope you guys will stick around and listen to the end and you will get it very very well are we still together please write this down you need favor to achieve your goals and fulfill your divine destiny in Christ. You need favor. You need favor to achieve your goals. You need favor to fulfill your divine destiny in Christ. How true this is, especially because of the times that we live in. You need favor to achieve your goals. You need favor to live out your divine destiny. What is favor? Favor is when God raises men to invest their time, invest their resources, invest their credibility over your destiny. When God raises men to invest their time, invest their resources, invest their credibility. Look at me, believers. Do you know most of the things we pray for 
the answers are not coming from heaven the answers are already on earth and most of the things we pray for today most of them are men dependent the prayer request of many people are on the tables of certain individuals on earth and even in this city it is within their power literally one signature sustains the power to turn a man's life around it is true how many great men and women of god called and loved so passionately by god who love god with all their heart but they have not submitted themselves to the spiritual intelligence accessing this grace to excel in life and ministry i have met anointed men and women on earth i am telling you i have met anointed men and women in this nation and i look at their life and i see their sincerity and passion for god but i can look and with uncanny uncanny precision i can point the gaps the absence of the graces in their lives that should work in synergy to produce an enviable destiny one of them being favor many of you are very hard working you are sincere you love the lord many of us have seen our loved ones very hard working It is the absence of favor that has led to this statement life is unfair you hear people say so life is unfair hmm. are we together i have seen the advantage and the blessings of carrying the grace for favor and there is a disadvantage there is a serious disadvantage if you do not carry favor let me be honest with you in this life i have discovered and i keep discovering as God helps me to advance in my life and God helps me in leadership and ministry I have found out people really don't care about you this is a very painful revelation it takes a long time usually for people people don't care about you at all they are they are passionately obsessed with making a meaning out of their own lives so whatever will make them leave their own affairs and zoom their attention to you has to be divine listen most of us have this superstitious idea that just because i love god everybody will shut down on their destinies and just pay attention to me no sir apostle the other day i sat in church and someone was looking at me and smiling my brother as he was looking at you he was thinking about something else i can almost tell you you are not the one he was looking at i'm not being sarcastic have you seen people talk and walk and you think they are talking to you but they are talking about themselves how is this rent going to come say sorry i'm not talking to you i'm discussing something serious listen do you know why i'm teaching you this it's not just to laugh and to scorn if it is true that your success does not just depend the dynamics of the manifestation now is god in partnership to men to hate to make it happen and these men are currently distracted pursuing their own destinies then what do you think will make those men to leave whatever it is and then turn to you and give you dedicated investment of their time dedicated investment of their resources dedicated investment of their energy allow you to climb and leverage upon them i was preaching come Sam. i was preaching years ago and a man of god preached before me and he shared a story that i found very very powerful pay attention to the story this is what he said that there was a senior advocate i think in this country or so or around the world very senior senior legal practitioner very wealthy very successful influential one whose name is a key you know names can be two things keys or padlocks but this one his name is a key and there was this young lawyer who had tried and tried tried to set up his family he failed tried very sincere smart gentleman watch this and he was really frustrated and he went to god in prayer and said lord change my life things have to change and every time he would stand he would see some of these top clients institutions running around to talk to that senior advocate to help them you know in, in in all kinds of legal services and these people would be bidding for millions millions of dollars and that gentleman felt life was so unfair i'm just looking for a fraction of this thing look what they want to give this man and he's leaving them and what kind of thing is this when god wanted to help that gentleman this is what happened in the presence i think they were at a conference and there were several people businessmen billionaires other lawyers the captains of industry and this young man came and cried and said sir please help me please change my life and the man said okay i will help you and he said follow me and he came out of the veranda and everybody was looking at him oh this is that our senior advocate what is he doing with this guy then he began to talk with him 
So how are you? How is your wife? I said, sir, that's not the issue. I'm he said, just talk to me. And they were walking together. How are you? Are you eating well? Are you taking care? And he was angry. He was saying, sir, the issue is that I'm, I'm hungry. And the man said, he walked with him. And when he walked with him, he got into his office and said, if you still fail, don't come to my office again. Listen, listen. Do you know, you know what he was doing? People were saying, who is this man? Please sit down. Sit down and learn. You are in the house of God. The gentleman came out. True story. He was about to look for a bike to go home. And someone stopped him and said, Sorry, I saw you with this man. Um, listen, listen. He did not even ask him if he was in. He said, Sorry, we've been trying to get him to negotiate a deal for us. But he, our rate, can we please... Can we walk with you? And he mentioned a rate that was a breakthrough. And the gentleman was wise to compose himself. Listen, true story. The moment he did that, God granted him grace. Called some of his partners and walked together. And within a year, this gentleman got a gift. And went back to the office of that senior advocate. He knelt down and said, thank you for changing my life. Then the senior advocate asked him, he said, do you know what happened to you? That's what I'm interested in. Keep your gift. You have to study what happened to you so that you will use it on others too. Favor is when an individual invests his credibility on you. Listen carefully. Who likes you in this kingdom matters. For many of us, we live in a world where the only thing we know is money. Once money is not in front of you, you don't care about any other thing again. If they keep money and they keep men, you will carry money and it will finish and you will go back to square one. There are seven currencies that we use to purchase realities in this kingdom. Everything is bought. There are seven currencies. The least of them is money. I pray for you, Koinonia, from the depth of my heart. May you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money. Let me pray that prayer again. And I say it with every sense of responsibility. May you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money in your ATM. Listen. There are superior currencies. Money itself, you see. We have a series on finances coming. But money itself, you see, is a product. There is a capital that buys it. The name of the capital that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. Money itself is a product. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? Yes. If I want to buy this Bible, come. Come. Lift this up. If you want to buy this Bible, will you be offended if I bring out money just to use? Huh? Okay, watch this. Please watch this. This, for instance, this is a hundred dollar bill. Lift it up. Watch this. If, let's assume this is hundred dollars. People are following from around the world, so we're using something universal. If this, if you want to buy this product, you need this. Is that true? So that means if I give you this, you start smiling because this is already a victim of the abundance of this. But if you want to buy this, what do you use? Because this is also a product. What do you use to buy this? Money buys this. But what if it is money you want to buy itself? Wow. I believe we've understood this message from the beginning to now. You can in understand that the man of God is trying to let us see what is more important than money because everybody is looking forward to money, money, money. While what is more important is favor in the eyes of man. That when you have favor, everything will be easier. The money comes through the favor because God has already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness according to 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 okay so now we are the ones to bring those things into the physical realm and for us to do that we need man okay so that is exactly what he's saying and for us to you know attract men we have some principles that we need to abide on and those are the things that we will be hearing in the subsequent uh, videos because I will still 
upload those ones but we are drawing the cutting here so just go and ponder on the ones that you heard and begin to meditate upon it you remember that revelation comes by meditation so always be mindful of that so at this point now i believe that you have received a wonderful uh understanding from god's servant from the word he shared and do subscribe to my channel okay like the video share the video and click the notification bell icon so whenever i drop a video you will be notified so that you will be fellowshipping with us on this channel okay thank you for listening be blessed